Hello space lovers, welcome back to another daily SpaceX video. In this video, we are going to talk about the biggest news of the day, the Dear Moon Crew announcement. We will see the highlights from today's launch of SpaceX's OneWeb 15 mission, an eventful day of space activities at Kennedy Space Center, and more space updates. Let's start with a big story. I personally take it as the biggest news of the year in the space industry. YouTuber and rocket engine expert Tim Dodd, also known as the Everyday Astronaut, made it to the list of final nine crew members announced today for the Dear Moon project, a trip around the moon. Dear Moon YouTube channel uploaded a video that seemed like a big announcement but was quickly taken down. Although the video was removed, we could get a sneak peek of what was coming. Tim himself officially confirmed it later. This will open a whole new chapter in the history of human spaceflight. All 10 members of the Dear Moon mission first-time non-astronaut space travelers. A crew of this size had never been announced nor flown to space in a single spacecraft on a single mission. Most of the crew members are artists from around the world. We know Starship and SpaceX are several years away from this mission but man, this is historic. After a few days delay, today SpaceX launched its first mission of the month and 55th of the year. OneWeb Launch 15 successfully lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center at 5.27 p.m. ET atop a Falcon 9 rocket. The mission launched 40 OneWeb satellites into low Earth orbit. After stage separation, the first stage booster B-1069 which was on its fourth flight successfully touched down on landing Zone 1 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Another awesome booster landing. This never gets old, does it? It was an eventful day at Kennedy Space Center today. A lot of activities were going on. The mobile launcher platform for the SLS was heading back to the vehicle assembly building three weeks after Artemis 1 was launched from Pad 39B. At the same time, the Falcon 9 for today's mission was also going vertical. A few minutes later, a brand new Falcon 9 booster drove past the mobile launcher. It looked like a center core booster for Falcon Heavy which is going to be the first mission of 2023. The whole place looked so alive. Rocket Lab decided to call off the attempt to launch its inaugural mission from Launch Complex 2 in Virginia tomorrow. Citing high winds and unsettled weather conditions in the coming days as reasons for the delay, the mission is now rescheduled for December 13. Things are moving in the right direction for Relativity Space. Terran 1 rocket now stands vertical on Launch Complex 16 at Cape Canaveral ahead of its static fire test. Terran 1 will be the debut flight for this company which focuses on 3D printed rockets to provide cheap launch services. Although a fixed date is not given, it is expected that Relativity Space will attempt to launch its test flight mission before the year's end. The national team is not the only team bidding for NASA's second human landing system contract. The race for a second lunar lander contract is on. On Wednesday, Northrop Grumman partnered in collaboration with Dynetics also submitted its bid for NASA's human landing system sustainable lunar development contract. The result may be expected mid-year in 2023 next year. Northrop Grumman was teaming up with Blue Origin and the original national team's bid and Dynetics was going solo before losing out to SpaceX last year for the contract to build the first crew lunar lander. That is it for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and share the video.